So today I have something special to show you. At remote control for any car, but you know what? It's actually in a spy camera. Yes, it's a 1080 camera right here. It can record up to six hours. It really looks like a, you know, a remote control. All right, to start a car, even comes with a keychain, supports up to 128 gigabytes of memory. And it's a cool resolution and a good value. So let me show you that right now. So how are we doing everyone? I'm Dario, this is Media Box ENT. Well, always we bring you the latest in technology and today the technology is a cool spy camera. You see, we bring a lot of cameras to the channel. Check this out. So it really mimics like remote control for a car, right? It starts, open the trunk, and that's pretty cool. Now the key chain. So what you have to do is remove those screws, come with the screwdriver, and now, boom, put it there. And then now you have the, the, the cool keychain comes with the usb cable by the way it's not only charging it's a data cable so we're able to plug in and pull the files out of the, out of the remote control without removing the memory by the way it came with 128 and if not we have the time i'm dry right here and instructions so check this out so the camera is pretty much hiding right over there it's like an infrared type of thing so you cannot even see it so pretty simple how this thing works you're going to press the power for about three seconds. It will blink three times and it goes to a standby mode. So that's ready to record. You want to start recording, open the trunk, blinks, light is off. So there is no indication that anything is recording and right now it's recording. You want to stop recording, you press once again. So now videos are in the blocks of five minutes. It will record in a loop format. So eventually when the memory is full, it will go back and delete the first video you recorded a month ago. Now, motion sensor, no problem. Press. Press the unlock key. Blinks red. Now it's motion. Leave it right there. S somebody passed by, something, and it automatically starts recording and records at one minute blocks. Then automatically stops. You want to stop the motion sensor? Press that once again, and it goes in a step by. How simple is that? Now, resolution-wise, well, let's do a test. We start recording right now. So, how are we doing, everyone? I'm Dario. This is Media Box NT, and today I show you this pretty cool remote control spy cam. Let's stop this up. That's it. So now, memory. Let me. Uh, uh, we can leave it off. Automatically detects when you plug it in the computer. See that? Memory and uh, micro USB. Now I'm gonna plug it right in the computer. Now the cool thing is it will show up as a drive. And uh, it's gonna show up in a second. So let me give you some specs. So it records at 1080, 30 frames per second. And then pick, and 30 frames. And then battery wise, 800 milliamp. And charging time between four to five hours. It says when you get it first time, make sure you charge it for five hours. And recording time, six hours. I think it's plenty recording time. And 128 gigabyte support. And then give you a window, it supports any computer. All right, that plug it in, automatic pops the drive. So when I plug it in, this is what pop up. Now, time. Do you want to edit the time? No problem. Click right there. Let me bring the file. Pretty simple, straightforward. If you want to stamp the information, just full of the information right there. Just put the year 2023, today's day, and time, and then click save it. Then unplug it, plug it back again, and when it restarts again, it will read that time you installed there. And that's it. Maybe there is a minute off the time you save it, and then that you restart it. And that's the only thing you want to do. If you don't want to do it any timestamp, you just click no, save it, and done. Video. It's right there. So let me go and play the video for you. Start recording right now. So how we doing everyone? I'm Dario. This is Media Box CNT. And today I show you this pretty cool remote control spy cam. So what do you guys think? I think it has a great solution. Seeing that it's a small device, six hours, 128 gigabytes, a great sound. And really looks like a remote control. So 
I think you got it. If you look into a spy camera, I think I had it right in my hand. Now, pretty simple. How you guys get one of these things? Uh, I'm going to leave you links right below this video. It's going to be an affiliate link. But like always, you always pay the same price if you click the link. Guys, I'll see you next time. Leave me a comment and goodbye. Thank you.